He's a sturdy goaltender indeed. As you said, six foot six. He fills up the net nicely. Marshall Plunkett dangling off the wall. High wrister, it trickles up over the glove and in. Marshall Plunkett scores for the Cooley Region Chill 14-18. Left here in period number one. And for Marshall Plunkett, he scores his eighth goal of the season. Uh, he handcuffed Ovechka. He got it right off the ear hole there. It's tough to get a glove up there. And uh, just enough juice on that shot to trickle on down his back and in. In the corner, Puricelli spinning. He's got quick feet. Puricelli throws it on net. Save by Zetterquist. Puck comes right back out to the circle. Chill have killed off the penalty, but Springfield still in the attack zone. Another shot tipped across. They almost poke it home. And what a save by Emil Zetterquist. Sammy D throws it to the end boards and chases. Gets tied up. And again, puck worked loose here by the chill. Plunkett, far point, walking along the blue line. Sends it to the circle, then gets it back. Plunkett, he's got one in this game from the near circle. Goes behind the net and goes down. That was a trip. It looked like more like a trip, certainly, than the one that was called. One-timer, Ebner, he scores! Mahoshka hits Ebner in the near circle, and he buries it past the goaltender. And it's 3-3, 14-59 left here in the second period. And we see the chill try and set up that one-timer so many times. Finally, Ebner able to get a stick on it and blast one home. That's a huge goal for the chill, momentum-wise, and to tie the game up. That's four now, and we're not even halfway through this second period. Down 4-3, here's Tomas Vahoshka. Nice stick handling, worked it into the attack So He scores! Oh, what a late reaction by the goaltender Oveshka. And Vahoshka scores his second goal of the game. Uh, this game's quite the track beat, isn't it? It's 4-4, we're not even halfway through the game. It, it could end up 8-8, eight 8-9, eight, eight, something like that. And the chill. Pickpocket, here comes Plunkett again. Plunkett with a shot, he scores! Marshall Plunkett, second of the game, and it's 5-4. Cooley region chill, 10-14, left here in the third period. Oh, he lasered that one. You could hear the thud off the back post. Up left wing they come. Thrown cross ice to Zillish. Bottom of the near circle, McGlynn. McGlynn back to Zillish, to McGlynn. He's got it, right wing wall, feeds the high slot, shot in the safe here, rebound, they score! Tyler Ebner gets his second of the game. 6-4, cool, Lee Region, chill, and the power play like clockwork. Is that three different guys with two goals now? It Ebner, is indeed. Ebner, Vahoshka, and Plunkett. That is exactly right. Who's first star? I don't know, it's gonna be a tough decision. They're gonna clear that puck. And a chance with a wide open net. Let's see, they take it together. Schmoll to Ebner and the Hattie. Tyler Ebner with the empty net hat trick. That is teamwork, my friends. Connor Schmoll knowing that Tyler needed one more. Gives him the hat trick. And it's seven to four. There is your dagger. Um, I'll tell you what, I, I don't think it was uh, the greatest of hockey games. I, I think it was very sloppy but I do think we got some very, very good individual efforts out of a few guys tonight. You get Ebner with a hat trick. I mean, what can you say about Marshall's goal Marshall. there in the third period was was phenomenal. It was a fantastic um, goal and great Emil, effort yep, by him tonight. Emil came up with some big saves late, you know, like just some individual efforts that helped us get through it tonight. You know what, to score seven, you lose Bowman 10 minutes into the game and to score seven, like we gotta build some confidence on that. And what are you thinking, uh, what's the initial look in terms of what, what, what happened to him? Uh, we're not really sure. We're not really sure. He's been checked out. I think he, he got his bell rung pretty good, and uh, we got him checked out. I think he's back here somewhere. I think he's, he's probably fine, but um, whether he'll be back tomorrow is probably a pretty big question mark right now. All right, we'll obviously check with you in pregame to find out how that's all going. Congratulations on the big win tonight. Yeah, thanks. We, we needed that. I, I, I'm happy about it. I, again, I, I'm not happy with how we got to it, but you know what? We'll take it right now. We need these points. Yeah, we'll get two more tomorrow. Got to do it. Got to do it. All right, thanks, Coach. Thanks, Rick. Josh, I'll let you take it away. All right, thanks, Rick. Like you said, uh, not often we get the same guy from second remission on our first star. I almost lost my headset there. Uh, on our first star interview. So uh, congrats on the hat trick, by the way. And uh, your first two goals came on the power play, kind of from that wing circle. Uh, is that an area that you like to camp out in and look for that one-timer? Well, actually, not really. I mean, I'm usually in front of the net on the power play, but with uh, Bowman getting hurt, 
like he did. I had to step into his role, and I guess it, it paid off. Well, I got to say, you did well there. Uh, the first one-timer and then the rebound goal. So a game like that, you guys obviously came out in the third period. You buckled down defensively, and uh, you were able to get a couple goals, just like you said in our uh, intermission report. Uh, is this something that you think you can build off of going in tomorrow and hope to get a series sweep? Well, yeah, I, th I think the momentum that we have right now is, is going in the right direction. I think um, for the third period, normally we, we don't buckle down like, like you said, but um, we came out and we played hard and we got the dub. All right, well, you asked to keep it short, so I'll keep it short. Uh, congrats on the hat trick, and we'll see you tomorrow night.